Hello, I'm Jake. And I'm Dan. And this is our ship tour of Anthem of the Seas. Anthem of the Seas is a Quantum class cruise ship which joined Royal Caribbean in 2013. Quantum is the second largest class of ship sailing for Royal Caribbean and boasts a variety of amenities from the impressive North Star to bumper cars. This is a seriously incredible ship and in this video we're going to show you everything that Anthem of the Seas has to offer. Where else better to start a tour than at the top at the North Star? The North Star is a London iron inspired capsule giving you 360 degrees panoramic views more than 300 feet above the ocean. The North Star is an extra chargeable activity venue charged at $20 for a 15 minute ride. However, on port days and certain sea days, this venue is free of charge. Booking is required. Also, at the forward end of Deck 16, you'll find the Vitality Fitness Centre and Gym. This place is packed out with the latest exercise equipment from treadmills through to rowing machines. The Vitality Fitness Centre is free of charge and is open from 6am to 10pm daily. You must be over 16 years of age to use this facility. Personal trainer sessions come at an additional cost as do extra treatments such as sport massages. If you're lucky enough to have a suite then you get the magic key to the suite sun deck. The entrance is located on deck 15 port side by the aft lifts and stairwell. Just scan your card and relax. If relaxing isn't always your thing and you feel like doing something a little bit more adventurous, check out the Flowrider situated at the aft of deck 16. This impressive surf simulator pumps 30,000 gallons of water per minute at a speed of 30 miles per hour beneath you. This activity is included in your cruise fare, however private hire of the Flowrider is available. Simply book through the Royal Caribbean app and click Cruise Planner. You must be over 1.32 metres tall to ride the Flowrider. The Quantum class of cruise ship boasts Ripcord by iFly, a unique skydiving simulator. This is an additional charge activity venue charged at $49 per person for an hour session. Please note that a safety demonstration is part of the hour session that you pay for. You must be at least 3 years of age and no more than £230 if less than 6 feet tall. Booking is required. And after deck 15 and 16 you'll find the Cplex. The Cplex was designed with children in mind. Here you'll find an amusement arcade packed with crane grabs, racing games and much more. You can also find table football, a basketball court and most impressively bumper cars. The bumper cars are free of charge. Booking is required for the cruise planner section on the Royal Caribbean app. If you fancy a snack after a long go on the bumper cars, then you can grab yourself a hot dog at the doghouse, located at the aft of the Cplex, port side. Here you'll also find one of the many Coca-Cola machines scattered around the ship, only available if you have a drinks package that covers soda. On deck 16 of the Cplex, you'll find ping pong tables, an Xbox lounge and a few air hockey tables. Every facility you have seen at the Cplex is free of charge, including the doghouse. Not exactly how I like to spend my holiday, but if you fancy being a little bit adventurous, why not climb the rock climbing wall at the aft starboard side on deck 15. Say hello to Giggy, a 32 foot tall giraffe wearing a bright yellow swimsuit. You don't get that on Cunard now do you? If you've had too many helpings at the Windjammer, you can always come and burn some off on the running track, where three laps equates to three statue miles. 
Me personally, I'd rather sit with a drink and watch the view. This is the Windjammer, the buffet style restaurant on board Anthem of the Seas. You've got to give it to Royal Caribbean, they know how to do a buffet. You have choice and variety which is pretty much unparalleled in other cruise lines and the quality is pretty decent too. Some of you may be keen to learn that there's also a small vegan and gluten free section too. If you've got a soda package you can always grab a refill from the two Coca-Cola machines here in the Windjammer. You'll also be glad to learn that there's an outside terrace to sit and drink your morning coffee and just watch the world go by. This is Johnny Rockets. If you haven't been to it on a Royal Caribbean ship before, you need to try it. Here you can grab a banging burger with onion rings and fries on the side. This is an extra charge dining option, however it is worth every penny. If you don't feel like sitting down at a table and would prefer eating in your cabin, you can always order to go through the Royal Caribbean app. This is Lazy River at the Splash Zone, loved by adults and children alike. Next to it you have a shallow pool 2.5 feet deep. This area like all pool areas on board are lifeguarded during open hours. There is also a baby pool 1 foot deep which is also guarded by a trained member of the children's team on board. This is the main pool and sea screen. You'll also find two massive hot tubs on both port and starboard side at the main pool area. Each one seats 12 people when COVID restrictions do not apply. Situated at the forward end of deck 14, you'll find the indoor pool area, complete with large swimming pool, splash pool for toddlers and two large 12 person jacuzzis. You've also got the pool bar in sight, although you'd never have to go to it as the bar service on this ship is so good. This is the adults only solarium, a stunning indoor pool area exclusive for adults. It's an extremely relaxing part of Anthem where you can read a book or just lay and watch the world go by. You'll find cascading swimming pools heated to 35 degrees Celsius, palm trees, hot tubs, a swing, and loads of comfortable seating. Definitely the most stunning pool area I've seen on a cruise ship. If I had to do a cruise to a cold place, I'd choose this class of ship based on its solarium alone. Stunning. If you're disabled, you'll be glad to learn you can enjoy the solarium in the same way as everyone else. If you're comfortable in a solarium and don't feel like walking the ship's length to the Windjammer, then try the Solarium Bistro inside the solarium itself. The selection in the bistro is more limited, however there is an emphasis on healthier food such as salads, freshly made sandwiches and fresh fruit. We're now in the Vitality Spa. Here, for an extra cost, you can experience the thermal suite complete with Swedish orthopaedic beds. There's also a sauna, steam room and rainforest showers.
We're now making our way down to deck five. Anthem of the Seas has interactive artwork all over the ship, designed to engage guests as they walk past. Place your hands on the metal panels and watch the light beat to the rhythm of your heart. We're now heading to the forward end of Deck 5, starting with the stunning Royal Theatre. The Royal Theatre seats 1,300 guests and is home to the Royal Caribbean's two main West End style shows, We Will Rock You and The Gift. You can also see comedians, magicians and tribute acts such as The Beatles and Elvis. At the forward end of Deck 5 you'll also find the Schooner Bar, a great bar for a pre-dinner drink or a nightcap. The Schooner Bar hosts quizzes and bingo during the day and music acts every night, all night. If you sit at the side you'll also have great views overlooking the Royal Esplanade. Next door to the Schooner Bar you'll find Focus, the ship's photo gallery. If you've had pictures taken by Anthem's professional photographers, then drop by to take a peek. Just scan your cruise card at one of the terminals and it will display every photo that's been taken of you whilst on board. I can't help but think that Royal Caribbean are seriously overcharging though. $25 per photo? I don't think so. If you love sushi, check out Azumi Sushi located near Midship on Deck 5. The food here was incredibly tasty and definitely ranks as some of the best sushi I've ever eaten. I particularly recommend the champagne lobster rolls, totally yummy. A set 5 course menu is charged at $35 per person or you can choose to pay for each dish individually if you so wish. Royal Caribbean was the first cruise line in the world to introduce robotic bartenders to its ships, and here they are. This is the Bionic Bar. Simply scan your cruise card on one of the terminals and select the drink you desire and watch them make it in front of you. Most cocktails were around $17 each and tasted amazing. And here you have it, two minutes later your cocktail is ready. Just scan your cruise card at the relevant belt and it will make its way down to you. Enjoy! Wonderland is the home of imaginative cuisine. Inspired by the book Alice in Wonderland, this unique restaurant is all things magical when it comes to both decor and food. 
The food is incredibly inventive and believe us when we say, nothing is as it appears. You need to go with an open mind and be willing to try new things you've never tried before. Wonderland is such a great experience and we strongly recommend to anyone that's planning on cruising aboard the Quantum class of ship. Not exactly pie and mash is it? Wonderland won't be for everyone, but we loved it. And as for the desserts, they were out of this world. Next to Wonderland, here on the starboard side, you'll find the art gallery. If you think it looks like it's been ransacked, don't worry. On sea days like today, they utilise the Boleros Lounge on Deck 4 to show off their most impressive art pieces they have on board for sale. Opposite the art gallery on Deck 5, you'll find shore excursions, where you can come and book your trips ashore to maximise your cruise holiday. You can either book through the Cruise Planner section on the Royal Caribbean app or scan your cruise card at one of these terminals to book your excursions ashore. This is the Via, a popular blissful location on board with relaxing music subtle lighting, comfortable seats and surrounded by a cracking bar and restaurant. It's a lovely place to be and have a drink. Feeling peckish, let's head into Jamie's Italian, a menu created and inspired by British TV chef Jamie Oliver. This is an additional charge restaurant charged at $23 for lunch and $35 for an evening meal. The calamari, arancini and truffle tagliatelle were fantastic. The chips were terrible though, incredibly undercooked, however the lemon meringue cheesecake and chocolate brownie made up for it. If you appreciate fine wines then there's no better place than Vintages, Anthem of the Sea's very own wine bar. Vintages offers a relaxing bar experience with comfortable seating and you can even have wine from a vending machine, allowing you to try more premium bottles of wine by the glass rather than having to pay for the whole bottle. The vending machines are not included in Royal Caribbean drinks packages. You can also order small dishes from Jamie's Italian such as calamari, arancini, bruschetta and garlic bread. Yum! If you've had a few glasses too many at Vintages, be careful not to go and blow a fortune at the designer jewellers across the Via, or end up crawling into that teepee thing. At the aft end of deck 5 you'll find the next cruise desk. 
which is where you can come and book your future cruises with Royal Caribbean and apparently save a fortune. I have to say, whenever I've inquired on board, i found that the prices are pretty similar to back home. Let me know in the comments below if you've saved some money booking on board. Cafe 270 is the place to come during the day if you're craving a burrito, panini, muffin or bagel. You can also grab something less carby too, such as salads and freshly sliced fruit. It's a nice, quiet place to come if you'd rather avoid the hustle and bustle of the Windjammer. You can then bring your food through to the 270 and enjoy the views of the ocean through the stunning panoramic windows at the stern. By day this venue hosts lectures, quizzes and events with the captain. By night it transforms into one of the most impressive entertainment venues I've seen at sea so far. Did you like 270 Dan? I'll take that as a yes. Tucked away at the side of 270 on deck 6 you'll find the library and it's quite impressive. It's a library without any books but don't worry you can still touch and use the computers so if you like to read whilst on a cruise best to bring your own. Here at the aft of Deck 4, you'll find the My Time main dining options. All four main dining options on board share the same menu each evening, however are very different in terms of decor. This is the American Icon Grill. And across the corridor you have silk. As you exit the main dining area on deck 4 you'll find guest services on your right, the place to come if you have any issues and fancy a grumble. As you leave guest services and cross the Royal Esplanade you'll find Boleros a Latin American style bar playing various genres of music from the Caribbean and South America late into the night. The seats are comfortable, the lights are subtle and it's a lovely place to sip your favourite tipple. If you're craving a Starbucks coffee and a pastry to accompany it, the patisserie on the Royal Esplanade is the place to come. They serve proper Starbucks coffee, however certain coffee beverages which you can order from a Starbucks are not available on board. However the pastries and cakes are tastier than what you get on the high street and you don't have to remortgage your house to buy one. Now let's take a look around the shops.
This is the Brass and Bock pub, an English style pub but a lot more expensive. I like what they've tried to do, but speaking as a Brit, a British boozer cannot be beaten. If I could award the most authentic British pub on any cruise ship, it would have to go to Cunard's Golden Lion on board their fleet of ships. At the forward end of the Royal Esplanade, you'll find the Music Hall. During the day they hold music quizzes, karaoke and bingo. In the evening you can grab a cocktail and watch live bands play late into the night. Here on the upper floor of the music hall, you'll find a couple of pool tables. Tucked away in the corner of the music hall on deck 4, you'll find the Diamond Lounge, an exclusive bar and lounge for those that hold Diamond Loyalty tier. If you love a good steak, fresh seafood and luxurious surroundings, then Chops Grill is the restaurant for you. You can expect attentive service, quality ingredients and an atmosphere you'll want to savour. This is a very popular extra charge dining venue, so best to book early on in your cruise to avoid disappointment. You can always expect a big casino on an American ship, but the one on Anthem is massive. It is the largest venue on deck three, taking up nearly one third of the surface area on the entire deck. Casino Royale comprises a variety of state-of-the-art modern slot machines, blackjack tables, roulette tables, or if you're basic with your gambling like I am, you can find the odd crane grab and penny slider. At the aft end of deck 3 you'll find Chic and Grand, the other main dining rooms on board. These stylishly decorated dining rooms only offer set time dining and do not offer my time dining in the same way American Icon Grill and Silk do on deck 4. However the menu will be exactly the same. If you need some alone time and could do with a bit of a break from the children, drop them off at Adventure Ocean on deck 11 and 12. Don't worry, they won't be bored here. So that was our full ship tour of Royal Caribbean's Anthem of the Seas. We both went on Anthem with very high expectations and I'm glad to say that she lived up to them and more. Anthem of the Seas is a ship that was built to break barriers and push limits. From the impressive North Star to the bumper cars in the Seaplex, you cannot help but feel that Royal Caribbean are also pushing their guests to go forth and try something new for the first time. With their stunning interactive artwork all over the ship, which engages your attention every time you walk past it, the bionic bar, a skydiving simulator, and unique dining experiences like Wonderland, which is honestly the best and most memorable meal I've ever had at sea. Anthem of the Seas is a ship that gives you an abundance of choice when it comes to things to do and places to dine. Anthem makes you feel alive and we'll definitely be going back for more.